families are not the problem or their families cannot be the problem. So this is very important to understand. Uh, when it comes to something like this, who is friend, who is foe, who is family, who is not, all this doesn't matter. Any human being can be a carrier. Well, uh, even I saw that <laughs> their enthusiasm was fantastic, but uh, they were all piled up together. Maybe they don't understand the significance of separation. They think if we separate ourselves from others and as a family we are together, it is okay. Well, it might have been okay for a lot of them because uh, the family may not be infected, but that's not the way to conduct it. It's very important. Even with the dearest person in your life, you must maintain five to six feet distance for a period of time if we want to break this cycle. Well, with such a large population, it is a really challenging thing to see how to distance them. Today, it is all on the news channels, people are crowded in the buses, they are going to work. They have reduced the number of buses to thinking people will stay home, but uh, a huge number of people are getting into one bus because the number of buses are less in Delhi itself. I don't know what else is happening in the rest of the country. In Tamil Nadu, very aggressive steps have been taken by the government and uh, it's better, I feel, but how do you communicate this to everybody? Well, we can go on talking about it, but for this understanding to really sink in, it may take some time and that time is crucial and that time could defeat us. So it's very, very important everybody understands right now. We need to do this break right now. It will be much easier if you do it now rather than doing it after a month. When if, hope it doesn't happen, but if the fatalities increase in a big way, there are many hopeful thoughts in our minds that it won't happen to India because of variety of things, the weather, our natural immune system being stronger than the Western people, all these hopes we have. I hope it works for us, but there is no guarantee about this. If the fatalities increase, then of course clampdown will happen. Forceful clampdown will happen. If it's a voluntary distancing, it is so much better than forceful clampdown because forceful clampdown will become cruel in many different ways. Because somebody who enforces with a gun will enforce irrespective of what is your need. Even if uh, somebody, you know, like uh, your father is dying in the house, they will still enforce it on you because not knowing what you, you know, whom to trust, whom not to trust, that will become the issue and somebody is sick, you have to go to the hospital, not with corona, something else, that will become a problem. Variety of problems will arise when it is done forcefully. We are still at a stage in the country that if we voluntarily distance ourselves, if we don't give transportation facility for the virus, because we are the transport, if we don't do that now, I think the nation could go through this much better. And one must also understand there are severe economic costs to this if we let this continue for a long period of time. So how long it's going to last simply depends on how quickly we distance ourselves and uh, let the viral virus get localized, not spreading ac across the country. This is most important, uh, at least uh, the educated part of the population, if it takes care of this, uh, very diligently, I believe that in rural India there is a natural spacing of people, the way they work in the fields and everything is quite spaced out. So there it may not be a challenge, no guarantee on that also, but I believe small towns and cities are the real problem and rural area India may not be such a big problem, there's no guarantee about that, but may not be. So particularly urban centers and small towns where there are crowds are uh, thick, this is where this needs to be practiced, it must be done. Uh, Sadhguruji, what are the measures that people can take to remain healthy uh, mentally and physically also? Because, you know, uh, you know, I have a balcony and open view, but there are people who stay in a very cramped place. 
so you know for them to remain in such a, a small area it might get to them so what are the measures that they can take to remain healthy both mentally physically emotionally see yesterday's curfew was a test case whether we can do it or not i think uh, largely the nation came out successful in that test but the important thing is it's not necessary family should remain cooped up in small homes they can come out into open air but they must maintain that 6 feet or 2 meter distance from any other human being no matter who they are actually being outdoors is better but this is a dangerous thing to say in the cities because outdoor means again they will get cramped up in a park or somewhere else but if you are living in villages if you are living in towns where you can easily go outdoor outdoor is a much better space to be then being in one room 10 people being in one room or five people being in one room is far more dangerous than being on your terrace at least or somewhere where there is more air and there is more uh, space between people naturally